No matter how you feel about nuclear energy, either in favor or against, there are some serious disadvantages to using it as a means to power our world. Here are the top five disadvantages of nuclear power. The first are accidents. There have been many accidents throughout the history of nuclear energy. The most famous are the partial core meltdown at Three Mile Island, the uncontrolled explosion at Chernobyl, and the flooding and loss of power at Fukushima. Limiting the list to those accidents with multiple fatalities or significant financial costs still produces around 30 incidents worldwide since the late 1950s. These are large-scale accidents that have caused real damage or cost people lives, and despite the industry's best efforts, do seem to occur every few decades. Not exactly the friendly, safe image we might like to see. The second big disadvantage is cost. Modern nuclear reactors are complex to design, operate, and maintain. There is no way around it. After even decades of experience, nuclear power is an enormously expensive way to generate electricity. The largest component of cost for a nuclear plant over its lifetime is the initial investment in financing required for construction, accounting for around 60% of the total lifetime cost of the plant, even after all the fuel, operations, and maintenance are considered. The third disadvantage is nuclear waste. With the current design of nuclear plants, a significant amount of nuclear waste has built up over 70 years of operations, the most dangerous of which is the spent uranium fuel, which will be dangerous for thousands of years. One positive aspect of nuclear waste is that it is solid and dense and easy to keep track of. It doesn't blow into the wind like coal plants for us to breathe, but it still will be with us for a very long time. The back end of the nuclear fuel cycle has been badly neglected by pretty much every country in the world. The fourth disadvantage is the proliferation of nuclear weapons. The origins of the civil nuclear power industry are based on military applications, and the technology, systems, and materials can easily be redirected from one to the other, at least in principle. The main control we have on proliferation is what's through what's known as the Treaty on Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons, or NPT, which was enacted in 1970 with the support of the United Nations. It essentially says countries promise not to develop nuclear weapons, and those that already have them will work on disarmament. While 191 countries are signatories, more than any other arms agreement, the NPT identified five existing nuclear weapons states that already had nuclear weapons at the time, the US, Russia, UK, France, and China. Meanwhile, four countries have never accepted the NPT, India, Pakistan, Israel, and South Sudan. North Korea was previously a signatory, but withdrew from the NPT in 2003 following underground tests. The fifth disadvantage is the overall complexity of nuclear power. Those looking to start a nuclear power program from scratch face a long, complex international negotiation, as well as having sufficient domestic skills and personnel. Regulations will vary from country to country, meaning any economies of scale will be severely limited to successfully building a plant in one country does not necessarily translate into successfully building a plant in another country. Suffice it to say, building and operating a nuclear plant is a difficult business with some serious problems, but it's not all bad. Click here to hear the other side of the story with five simple reasons why nuclear power is great for us all. If you found this useful, please consider liking or subscribing. It really helps me know how to improve the content of this channel. Thanks for watching.